Now let's see how to convert a text data to a vector by simple using the matrix factorization. Let's see it step by step. So the job that we have to do, we have a word. We have a word and now the job is to we have to convert this word into a vector. So unless up to when we have not converted this text data, word means what it is a text data. And it is some numerical data. So um, anyhow, we have to convert some text data to a numerical data. Then in, we can apply the mathematics. So it is not possible to apply the mathematics in the text data. So let's see how we'll convert these things. So just then now today's in deep learning world, the most technique that the engineers are use the neural network. Okay neural networks it's uh, most commonly used but in old days to when uh, means i'm talking about early 2000s so in those days the neural network the uh, is not so much effective on those days because of some computational problem so in those days the scientists have used the, some kind of matrix factorization technique to convert the uh, uh, text data to a vector data vector format okay let's see how this thing so there are lots of techniques to convert the words data to word to big in general in simple if you call these things word to big word to big there are lots of technique so the most most popular one among these the most popular one are the lsa lsa technique plsa technique lda technique and the globe globe technique okay so the globe technique the name globe which means for global vector because of this reason this name is coming global vector okay global vector this is the reasons now the lda lda these techniques are actually fairly connected to the matrix factor this technique is connected to the matrix factorization. Now we'll see what is this LEA, how you will use this matrix factorization concept to convert some word vector to what text data to a vector. Let's see it step by step. So if you remember the PCA principal component analysis, then in PCA to choose the eigenvalues, we have used the matrix form matrix factorization concept in early of this chapter in the early with some early video of this chapter we have discussed so the in pca technique to find the vectors we have used it we have used or instead of using if you just pca and is means singular value decompositions problem both are the same kind of thing is here in PCA, we have used the covariance matrix, and but in SBM, in singular value decompositions, SVD, sorry, singular value decomposition, sorry, it's my bad. In SVD, we have used the data matrix directly and we applied the matrix factorizations onto it. Okay, we will see already, we have already seen these things. So now the same techniques also apply here. The same technique that we have applied in the PCA and SVD, the same techniques also we have applied in this what to vector technique <coughs> to convert the text data to a vector data. <coughs> we will apply same technique, means the technique is here matrix equation. We will apply this thing, same, same kind of concept, this eigenvalue eigen type of eigenvalue eigenvector type of concept now let's see how these things are applicable so first step let's see it step by step the first step that we have to do in first step we have to build a co-occurrence matrix okay we have to build a co-occurrence matrix We have to build a co-occurrence matrix. Now, what is this co-occurrence matrix? Let's clear it first. What is this co-occurrence? 
in general we have denoted this co-current matrix as the vector s so let's see it first what is this co-currents so the co-currents matrix is suppose let uh, d is our data corpus data corpus means the collections of our data okay that in in, in machine learning language these things are called the data corpus it means the collections of text data some text data suppose if you collect the some review data from the amazon product review data this will be mostly a text data if you collect this kind of data so this is the text data means this is the text documents this is the data corpus and this is text document okay now the x the co-occurrence matrix x x suppose let it will be better if you just take some product review product review data it will be better some product review data we have collected from somewhere okay and um, so it is a text document it is a data corpus so the age review here it will be like some combinations of the word okay it's obvious x it's review is some combinations of some word suppose let some review we have picked picked up some random random review we have picked up let we have picked up some random review i and the random the review is the combinations of some the word so let's take the word some some word let's take let's w2 w9 w6 w somehow j w5 w2 somewhere let w7 somewhere like w some what w g w i okay w1 w9 w5 let somewhere let w g w k w m let some some these combinations of the this review is some combinations of this word okay these are the word actually and this is the review means sentence type of sentence some kind of some kind of thing now the x the matrix x which the co-occurrence matrix is you look like this type this is a first square matrix suppose you let in the data corpus let the in the data corpus they are of n words in our data means in our whole dictionary of that data we have n words okay we have let it will be better let in a d we, we have total in words let we have this in words so this in words now we 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 will write this matrix in cross in because we have in words okay and h column and h h column and h row is responsible for each word okay let's it's w1 w2 like this somewhere w i somewhere it is w n word n similarly here also suppose let somewhere it is w j w n okay so the common element here it will be somewhere here it is like somewhere here it will be okay, somewhere here let the common element let it we call these things as a x i j small x i j let call the small x i j element of x okay now the x i j x i j that we have defined here this x i j actually which look like this type 
look like the number of times uh, this means this exercise actually means the number of times that means in generally the number we have denoted it to the hash symbol so the number of times wj the wj occurs in the context of wi we will, we will understand through this example let's write it first so number of times wj occurs in the context of w i now context means what is this context just to take this review this example this is your one review In this review there have lots of words okay so first thing number of times wj occurs so here let's see in this examples in this example in this example ready in this example how much time wj occurs just to see it first wj wj here wj and where and 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 here wj okay in the context of wi so here wi half or not yes half wi in this context of wi number of times so here if you consider the our base word w so with respect to this base word how much time wj occurs two time and it will occurs for a single review so here lots of review so such kind of thing we have to count for each review okay. here we have seen that in that example in that example we have seen that wj wj occurs two times in the in the context of wi now what is it will be first it will first clear it what is this context meaning what is this context context means we have to define some distances so let's see what is the distance if you take this distance left side so after three words wj occur as well as if we take some distances right sides after three word wj occur means we have to in context when we have to define some distances we have to distances so here distance is what here distance is three really after three words this wj occurs means we have to choose this distance means this distance you can treat is as a neighborhood concept neighborhood type of things like like type of this kind of concept is the you know, distance is neighborhood of distance this mean in short neighborhood i have written the nbd nbd of nbd of distance five this is the actual meaning of this context in the context of since we have to find the near neighbor word neighborhood neighborhood word of a particular word in our dictionary so that's the job that x is doing the simple thing if you just uh unless be confused just simple take it we have to pick up a word and we have to find the near about nbd word means near 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 word means in a which words are occurs in their neighborhood just from some distance so the distance is actually the hyperparameter we will see these things how to control this hyperparameter mm -hmm. uh, we will see it but till now this is the some type of this nbd concept here we have to choose the uh, we have for age word this matrix tells us for age word what are the neighborhood word okay neighborhood word that's the things are actually matrix talking about i think you understand this thing so for single review just see this review in review i only we got it's i w j occur two times in the neighborhood of w i so they are have lots of reviews such in our data set so for each review we have to calculate 
So that things that are doing here x. Okay, I think you got the idea. This is the first step that we have to calculate it, this matrix, this covariance matrix. In the first step, that things we have to calculate. Now let's see what in the what uh, we have to do in the second step. So in second step, after calculating this co-occurrence matrix, co co-occurrence, okay, because of these reasons, how much time x i uh, sorry x j w j occurs in x i because occurrence because you have get some concept of occurrence of h word because of this reason the matrix is called the co-occurrence matrix okay. and let's see the step two but it's this means so by simple constructing thus this co-occurrence matrix the x dimension of the x is to be x is equals to n cross n now now since it is a square matrix and it is a, since it is a square matrix and must be let's see it it, uh, it is a square matrix in this square matrix we can easily use to the uh, svd in singular value decomposition technique we can easily used we have seen already how to use this svd so let's take uh, after using the svd we got this type of matrix u sigma and v transpose so what will be the dimension of this h matrix so let's take it first u what is the dimension of this u the dimension it will be n cross n because it's a square matrix similarly if we take this sigma of the dimension of it it will be n cross n similarly if we take if we take this v transpose its dimension will be n cross n so at the end of the day we have to matrix multiplications and the x is the dimension of n cross n so each matrix dimension will be n cross n it's obvious and uh, here n here n we have used here here n that we have used here always you have to remember this n is equals to number of one words number of words this one is the number of words and uh, after finding this thing after finding this uh, decomposition value so what is the significant of this sigma let's see let's see it first what is this sigma trailing about and what is the u trailing about let's pass the u what is this u this is a square matrix this is a square matrix And also, sigma is also a square matrix. Here, n cross n, it's also n cross n. Since it is a square matrix, since it is a square matrix, but the sigma, the value of the, it is a diagonal square matrix. First thing that you have to remember. It's a diagonal square matrix and its diagonal elements it's the h1 h2 h3 look like that when such a square matrix we got this s a n up to s and this s i h is one is two s three up to s n it's the eigenvalue these are the eigenvalue of x These are the eigenvalues of x. Okay, we have already seen, and the upper diagonals and lower diagonals must be zero here. So now let's look the u vector. What is this u? Okay, what is this value u? So the u that that's the it's the u is the uh, we have known the u is the u multiplications of the eigenvector means eigenvector of this matrix its u is called the left singular decomposed matrix and v is called the right singular decomposition matrix we have seen it and the multiplications of u and u transpose is carried about the eigenvectors of this of these eigenvalues we have seen it we have already seen it so the eigenvectors is we have easily computed by simple multiplying these two okay 
and the eigen vectors that you got in uh, in u it's lie on on some column and in b it's lie on some row okay we have seen these things i'm not again discuss this thing just recap these things now the question is the yes the si that we have got what is the relations of the si to this pca so if you remember the relations between this si is si square if you remember we have already discussed if a square si square minus n1 is equals to lambda i okay we have already discussed and this lambda i this lambda i is the eigenvalues of the eigenvalues this is the this is the eigenvalue of the covariance matrix of x covariance a and c covariance matrix of the dot of this x means of this co-occurrence matrix i think don't be confused about the covariance covariance trick tag tricky type of of thing these things are covariance is totally different same sense of meaning and co-occurrence is totally different sense don't be confused such kind of thing we have seen this is the this, this is the second step that this job we have to do in second step we have to compute the the singular value decomposition technique this is the sbt okay this is the second step that we have to do now let's see the third step but so in the third step we have to target this sbt technique target now let's see what is this target how will target this sbt the third step is we have to target Target this SPT. We have to. Now, how we'll doing this job? Let's see. Let's write this structure first. Is equals to u sigma v transpose. I think then it will be better for, for understanding. So let's yeah, better if we use the square symbol. Let somewhere here u. Let somewhere here it is sigma let somewhere I'm using somewhere it is V means V transpose. Okay. So this this is the U and it's the N cross N matrix. It is the sigma as well it is then n cross n matrix and the white one is v transpose and it is also n so first what is the sigma sigma contains all the eigenvectors sorry all the eigenvalues of x it contains all the eigenvalues of x approach like s1 s2 s3 like that like that it is take up to x n like upper and diagonal and lower diagonal will be zero i've seen these things now in in a, in this eolo matrix means u means left singular decomposed matrix to n up to n okay the first thing truncated is b demands so this here for, from you the h column is responsible for h eigenvector here the column h is rho is responsible for h eigenvalue yeah seen these things already so first thing now the truncated means we have to eliminate we have to eliminate neglect the minimum means lowest value of this these eigenvalues okay we have to so the relations of the if you just if you remember the relations there have some relations in increasing order so s1 must be greater than here equals to s2 must be greater than here is equals to s3 we have seen these things 
so the lowest eigen values are lie on this region in this somewhere region so suppose let we have choose we instead of considering this n actually here n is a huge large number very large number okay so instead of using this whole n we have truncated something truncated something that way we have to truncate it so let's we have to consider such kind of sk value from here instead of using sn we will consider sk such kind of so on sk okay instead of using here k must be less than strictly less than obviously strictly less than. have to truncate this thing okay so we have to neglect similarly here also that's matrix we have to make square matrix so we have to remove truncate this thing we have to remove truncate this thing from our whole matrix means this is the this this eigen values at the at the actually at the smallest one smallest k minus one eigen values these are the k minus n sorry smallest k minus n eigen values these are the smallest these are the smallest k minus n eigen values okay since it is the smallest one so here the informations we have not go, got some important information so most of the important importance informations are lie on this larger eigen value okay. so here they are have no they are have no much they are have no much information on our data insert it will be better info there have no much information of the okay, because of this reason we have truncated the smallest minus one again the k is the parameter actually hyper parameter okay how much k we have to choose it depends on our problem to problem requirement to requirement we'll see these things what is the best way to choose this k we'll see just in the last of this lecture we'll see now this is the actual thing so similarly we have to adjust this matrix also u and v how to adjust it let's see so similarly we have to adjust this matrix so this matrix we have to truncate here each column is responsible for each eigenvector in u so we have to take up to k we have to take here up to k similarly here each uh, row is responsible for h h here h row is responsible for h eigen vectors we have to truncate this row so here k is somewhere here okay here we have to truncate it truncate this column we have to truncate this column here because in this eigen vector we have not got such kind of in much amount of it similarly here also we have to truncate there have no such kind of this is the simple technique that we have so if we truncate these things now what will be the dimension of this matrix so now let's take it this color so what will be the dimension of the rest of the matrix after truncating in the uh, dimension of this matrix will be now in rows here we have a k column similarly what will be the dimension of this matrix what will be the dimension of this matrix here the dimensional will be k cross k what will be the dimension of this matrix so here dimensional will be a row in column so now multiplication is possible no problem 
Now this truncation matrix that we after truncation, that matrix we got after multiplications, these matrix are called actually the x hat. These matrix actually called the x hat. This is called actually the x hat. It means is x hat is the sub approximate value of this x. It means we have not taken this information we have not considered this word in this matrix they do have those who have not some much amount of information so we have removed this word from our calculation okay this is the matrix actually talking about to reduce the dimensionality we'll see this thing or to reduce the dimensionality here okay <coughs> actually this is hat is actually now it's is this matrix, the after reduction, after reduction, this matrix is called the U hat. These things are called the sigma hat. Means approximation is V transpose. Okay, the X hat is actually the U hat, sigma hat, and V transpose hat. And this X, this thing. After truncation, okay. Now, this x is approximate equals to x hat, and so we have removed because we remove. We remove those words those words have not content much information have not content so much information of d okay because of this reason these are the approximate Okay, so similar things also we have doing in PCA because in PCA what we have doing for reduction the dimension we have taken the uh, larger eigenvalue size and corresponding eigenvector reduction to reduce this dimension we, we have already seen these things so in PCA in PCA what we have doing if you compare these things to the PCA this is actually same kind of internal meaning is both the same things. Here we remove the less amount of means those who are who have not content so much information by simple removing the uh, lowest means uh, lower lower eigenvalues. So same things also here also we can we have considered here top k eigenvalues top k eigenvalues and of a eigen vectors for why for reduction the dimension for the reduction the for reduction the dimension we have already said this thing okay now in third step uh, the third step that we have the third step the calculating this truncated matrix is after this third step now fourth step that we have to do we have to calculate it, the word vector corresponding to a is word so let's see how we will compute it, this thing how we'll compute it let's see it so in fourth step that we have to do so in fourth step uh, so after calculating this truncated matrix the truncated matrix we got this matrix x hat so this is our x this matrix is called the co co occurrence matrix this x is called the co, co occurrence matrix and this dimension is n cross n after using its third Truncation SBD. 
truncated. After using here the truncated SVD, a by some parameters also here applied. We have applied here some parameter key. We have to choose this parameter and how much information we are want to remove based on this thing we have to choose this k actually that's things always you have to remember and after removing this the the matrix that we got x hat and the dimension of this x hat is also n cross n okay thus n cross n and the x hat this x hat is equals to but u hat sigma hat sorry, and v transpose hat v transpose hat that's the thing and the dimension of this and the dimension of this n is equals to n cross k here is equals to k cross k here this dimension of the v cross k that's things we already have seen these are the uh, and these these are the approximate value of this these are the approximate means here we have to remove the uh, these words those who have not content those who have not content much information that's things already we have seen so now let's see how to find the vector word how to convert the word to a vector now here so so if you here also we can convert this vector but the main problem is here the dimensional of is so much okay but the size of this dimensional for this matrix is so much so it is impossible but let's it some have advantage here in this matrix let's see is how these things are actually <coughs> so here uh, that you got here the u that you got here the u the u that we got it's the main u hat means I'm talking about this u we have k column because we have removed such n and we have as well n rows here the column here the rows that contains suppose let the row vector here is u let's take it's the u2 Similarly, had let u is the un un okay now this ui this u and the vector that we got this vector this is actually end up to the this is a vector k dimensional vector if you think about look like this is a k dimensional vector it's look like this it has k quantities actually it is the matrix k quantities and this make this vector this vector this vector is called the vector for the word one these things u2 is called the vector for the word two and these things are called the vector for the word a okay it is the vector of w1 of dimension a okay of dimension I think you got the idea but here if you sir you can conclude that sir why not i am taking this thing by simple the compositions factory so here just see these things so in our data set if you just to look like in a data set there are a huge amount of work okay so if you consider the big data from big amount of reviews so the number of number of words is millions of millions of word that have so for a single word for a single word the dimension of a single word is millions so i think you got the idea to make some dot product to make some calculations on using this million dimensional word it's totally huge time complexity matter impossible means to build a low latency system it's totally impossible so in such in old days when we have no so much computer capacity programming capacity means computational power on, the, on those days the scientists are used used this kind of technique so to remove the less amount less, the, to remove those words those who have not quantity much information they have simple using this 
SBD means matrix multiplication technique. So matrix, sorry, matrix factorization technique. So at the end of the day, matrix factorization is is the uh, matrix. This SBD means singular value decompositions is simple a matrix factorization technique. Nothing else. On those days, the scientists have used this kind of technique to simply remove this low less less information data full data. That's the main job we are actually doing. Okay, I think you got the idea. From a one million dimension to dimension by simply using this truncated SBD, we have reduced how much time. So if you consider just uh, sir, uh, if we plot the eigen values means uh, to the plot, then in general the pictures that we have shown, the pictures that we have shown will look like this. Means most of the informations, most of the informations are like around 100 to 150s eigen values most of the so after some time it's look like the constant look like this okay after some 100 or somewhere somewhere look after somewhere 100 150 here we have millions of eigen values so these millions of eigen words that's we actually we have not need in our calculation only those hundred most large hundred value gives the suppose it gives the accuracy up to up to this accuracy let's up to 90 percent of the data suppose let's this data this area is 90 percent here some 10 percent of the informations we have in that region so for this 10 percent informations let's see it for this 10 percent informations so these millions of what we have to conclude so it's a to totally invest the money totally invest of our time so don't need these things okay so for this reason so this is the important only 90 percent of the information contents by simple this 100 dimension because of this reason this is so important okay i think you got the idea how these things are important so now let's the you hat that we got this hat it's simple the that rows of you hat that we got are like as like as u1 u2 u3 u1 u2 up to un this represents the vector of the word one this represents the vector of word two this represents the vector of over in sorry over in so now the h ui that we got it belongs to the k dimensional so k dimensional uh, k dimensional uh, space now the problem there have also some problems there have some problems also as always so the problem is the co-occurrence matrix that we got here that we got the co-occurrence matrix so after factorization have to find the at the end of the to find the eigenvalues for this co-occurrence co, co matrix so after finding this co-occurrence eigenvalues uh eigenvalues for this co-occurrence matrix, then we have to then we will remove these eigenvalues which are the smallest one so the main problem is to find the eigenvalue of this million cross millions means billions of dimension of the matrix that is the main problem the problem here is actually size of the co-occurrence matrix size of x size of x so Oh, occurrence, I think spelling has O C U R R E M O occurrence. Okay. O occurrence matrix. This size is really very large. This is the main problem here. This is the main problem. The very large dimension to find the eigenvalue it's a huge time taking matter okay. so after finding this very large and 
So to find the eigenvalues, it's really hard. So after, if we finding the eigenvalue, after then we can use this truncation matrix. So to find this eigenvalues, very hard. So, so the truncated truncated SVD will be applied after finding these things. So actually, these things the main problem finding the eigenvalue. If we somehow find the eigenvalue, then every problem is solved. Okay, because of this thing. So in our data set, large means means A N is because of these reasons N is really n is really number of words very very large okay because of only this problem we have to paste so the solutions the so solutions is so they have also some solutions the scientists are applying old list so the solutions they have taken so instead of considering whole words, they we choose some most important word from this word. Okay. So instead of the solutions, in that in those days they have applied the instead of instead of using all the in words. Okay. So we have to choose, we will choose the most, the most or top M words. Top M words. From A words, we have to choose this most M word. Here, M must be strictly less than it must be strictly less than only that's the thing so how to choose uh, which words are the most important and which one not important how to choose these things how to choose which one important which one is not important so there are some also there are some technique pf idf pf idf technique so it's it's guess it's give us the which are the, the most most of words we will see these things the natural language processing chapter we will see what is tifda how to convert these things how these word vectors are using find the frequency of word how to find the most important word in a dictionary we will see these things in the natural language chapter natural language processing chapter but uh, they are have some process among you can choose so these are the techniques that's in those dates in the old early 20s uh, 2000s the data science engineers are actually applied on aerial data but nowadays we have a huge amount of computational power we have developed the deep learning model neural network everything everything we have already have so oh, this kind of technique nowadays we have not applied directly we have applied the deep learning models to convert a what to be okay no problem so I think from these discussions you got the idea how this matrix factorization trick is actually useful in converting text data to a numerical data. Okay, I think we have discussed various kind of applications how this matrix factorization concept are actually useful to build a recommender system. So at the end of this series we have discussed the Netflix Netflix price competition problem. We have seen. We have seen through practically how this how these matrix factorizations problem are actually actually workable on a real problem. We'll see this thing practically. Okay.